hi YouTube, now I will show you on how to use fusion charts. Fusion charts was actually developed by Infosoft Global. Uh, by the way, as of this moment, they are no longer supporting or there's on, no longer ongoing development regarding fusion charts free because uh, this was developed in SWF or Flash. Uh, they stopped the support or the development for Flash charts because uh, some of the web browsers are no longer supporting or, or they are starting to drop off flash okay so but for educational purposes I will show you on how to use it and embed it in your projects okay so basically what we need is the charts or the fusion charts free and I will just put down the from where you can download it okay so we need to add shockwave flash control so we just need to choose items then com components so let's sort it by name then go to S there is shockwave blush here it's okay then drag it already created a XML file so what we're going to do here is load this will be a static chart from where it will load the data coming from this XML file so for my next video uh, I will show you on how to make a dynamic chart okay so the content of this is basically the value and the name and also the caption that will be displayed in our chart okay so let's close this XML so by the way we need to copy always same goes with this So let's load dim underscore chart is equals to x document load application point startup path then XML then F chart point XML then let's just rename our chart SWF chart and then SWF chart movie is equals to application point startup path and chart let's try FCF underscore by 2d then SWF oops from should we set variable and set it data XML and then let's pass the loaded XML a string and then SWF chart point play so that's it so with just four lines of code uh, we can already load the chart so let's try to run it Click the button so there it is your chat is already loaded
thank you very much for watching